Hello everyone, this is Center Collector with another action figure review, and here I have the Marvel Legends X, um, House of X-Men Wave uh, Omega Prime, no, just uh, Omega Sentinel. Uh, so here's the X symbol from the House of X, and then here it says Omega Sentinel, uh, and the symbols there, you get the Marvel Legends logo on top, you get the X House of X symbol on the top there, you get a picture of the Omega uh, Sentinel there. And here's the back with that same picture. If you guys want to pause and read this, you can. And then here's all the figures in the wave. So we already did Wolverine. There's Professor X. We're doing Omega Sentinel. We did Jean Grey last time. Moira, Magneto, which we did already. And then Cyclops, which we also did already. And it builds the Tri-Sentinel. And then on the other side, it has the same picture. And then the logo there, too. And then here's the bottom with the DCBI. But besides that, let's crack her open. And here's Omega Sentinel out of the package here. Let me move this out of the way so that way it doesn't get distracting. Um, so if, uh, let's go over her accessories first. So first she comes with this, uh, the Tri-Sentinel's torso, which we'll go over once we build it. Um, and then it comes with an extra head sculpt here with like a human version of the Omega Sentinel, kind of. It's like half cyborg, half human. So you get that like jaw piece that is more like a human and then you get the upper part of the face um more like a robot you get the, like a uh, gunmetal gray for the face there you get red lipstick and then you get the black like eye lining area and you get the red eyes and you get the brown hair here all foofed up kind of reminds me of, like anime characters or something like that bangs um but yeah it's just for this one, I feel like that one's going to be a pain in the butt to articulate with. Um, but yeah. And then you get these uh, two uh, switch. Like you can switch, uh, pop off these arms and then plug it in. I'll show you how to do that. So you get uh, two little accessories for those. So this one's like a Pulsar cannon kind of thing. I wish they painted it like the center here. That would have been a really cool detail. Like they didn't really paint. I don't know if this is like a defect that I have or not. Uh, but they should have added some paint there for this. Uh, probably a little bit around too. So yeah, th these you could just plug into either one of the arms. It doesn't matter which one you want in. Um, but yeah, they should add more paint to this. I like the sculpt though a lot, so that's pretty cool. But this one, they actually have paint in it. So I'm pretty sure there was supposed to be paint on it, but I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments if you got this figure and has like the actual orange in it. But... If it doesn't, then they should have added more paint. But um, there's um, this one's like a more of like a little machine gun type of thing. Um, so you get the orange detailing around the nozzle here. You get this like little port here. Uh, if you get the uh, like the Punisher Deluxe motorcycle uh, figure and or the uh, Black Widow with the jetpack or the White Widow, White Widow comic version. Uh, with the gun blaster effects there, uh, you just plug it into the nozzle there and it looks like it, she's like shooting. And you get like this little sight thing here. You get more orange detailing like around the barrel and then inside, I mean behind the barrel there. So that's pretty cool. And they're single jointed, so it's pretty cool. I'll show you how to pop them in though. But besides that, that's all we got for accessories. So here is the Omega Sentinel here. So um so we get this head sculpt here completely so she's bald in this and but it looks like she's a human on this too um but her hair her head is red obviously i like the red that they used for this though uh you get like green blue eyes in there uh you get some white detail in there really clean white lines there and they're sculpted in not in but they're sculpted um, so that's really cool. Really clean paint job for the head sculpt here, actually. I like it a lot. And then you get the black eyeliner and the eyebrows, too. Really nice head sculpt. And then for the suit piece here, so you get the red, uh, along the sides here. So that's pretty cool. And you get, like, the sculpted little side piece here. It's pretty cool. But they should have painted it, probably. Uh, same thing on the other side. And then you get the black lining around that all the way down to 
same area. And then you, in the back here, uh, you get this like little vest thing, collar piece there for uh, the torso there. It says search skinny in the front and then it just gets wider in the back there. And I like, the lines look really clean. And you get this like little upside down V shape there um, for the lining. And then for like the middle of the, and like at the diaphragm joint, you get these like sculpted dots here. Um, and they just painted it like gunmetal gray. Same thing on like the belly button piece here. Sculpted like little ab piece. So it's pretty cool. Uh, pinless joints for both uh, the arm and the knees. So that's pretty good. Um, and then you get these cool looking knee pads here. You get the sculpted shin piece here uh, that are colored in black. Same thing on around the ankles. And then also at the feet near the toes. So it's pretty cool. And then for the arms, I really like the arms for this figure. Uh, look at like at shoulders, you get the, like these cool little cy cyborg like effects with it. So you get like the black lining around the shoulder pad here. You get these like little dots popping out with little, like red lights inside of them. Um, and then I wish, oh, and then at the forearm, you get those same like dots here. Uh, you get two of them each side. Um, with the red in it, so it's pretty cool. But I wish they had a little bit more detailing in there, but they, I like this figure a lot. And then, yeah, like if you could see the fingers here, definitely did a good job on the sculpt. They should have painted the knuckles a little bit to make it look like more robotic looking, but it feels like a soft plastic for the fingers. And then, so yeah, one's like a grabbing hand, and one's a fist hand, so there's that. Um, but besides that, that's what we got for looks. So let's go over the articulation here. So her head can hinge down that far, up that far. That's really far. That's really good. Uh, she can look left and right. Uh, mm, like no head pivoting there. Her shoulders can move out that far. It's kind of a soft plastic, but I wouldn't go like push it more than almost 90 degrees there. I wouldn't push it more than that. 360 rotation around the shoulder there. Single jointed elbows. Uh, a little over 90 degrees. You can do a 360 rotation around the uh, elbow there. Her wrists can hinge down that far, up that far. 360 rotation around there. She has a diaphragm joint, so she can go forward just that far. Backwards a little bit. She can go side to side. Her legs can kick out that far. Forward. Not a whole lot, but if you like kick, kick it out to the side a little bit, you can kind of get her to do like almost splits. So it's pretty cool. Um, and then you got a thigh cut here, double jointed knees, almost a butt kick. Uh, her ankles can hinge down that far, up that far, and nice ankle pivots. And to uh, pop, like switch off the arms here, you just come out, pop that off like that, and then switch either one of these on there. I kind of like the orange detailed one here. So I'm just going to pop that in, and yeah, that's what it looks like with that. And then I'll show you what she looks like with the other head sculpt here. And here she is with the other head sculpt. So I think I prefer the red head sculpt because mainly this one just feels like way too bulky, especially with the hair. It's, it's probably a little too much, and the articulation is just a little harder to move around with. Like, you can't make her look up that as far as it did with the other one, mainly because of all this hair in the back. But you can get her to look down pretty far, so that's pretty good. But I really do prefer the red heads. Um, I prefer this head sculpt. It looks a lot cooler. Um, but, yeah. So I think this figure is really cool, especially, like, how clean the lines are. The paint and the sculpting is really cool. I just wish to add a little bit more painting into this. And then... I just feel like uh, the head sculpt, I like this little accessory, but I just feel like the hair is a little much, but that's comic accurate, so. But besides that, I love this figure. It looks really cool. I love it a lot. But besides that, that's all I got for the figure. But um, just a little reminder, uh, I do Twitch. I do um, Warzone. I do uh, Fortnite. I do Call of Duty with my buddies. I'm also streaming the Avengers campaign. I'm also going to be streaming uh, me playing the Avengers later tonight. I'm doing like Friday the 13th. Uh, so yeah, just 
Um, my Twitch name is The Hunter Collector and the link is in, in the description below. But besides that, love the figure um, and that's all I got.